Despite their small, stocky frame, reclusive lifestyle and comical trot, honey badgers are renowned for their fearlessness and ferocity. With their formidable claws and acute sense of smell, honey badgers are efficient hunters. But what happens when they're pitted against the largest snake in Africa? Pythons can grow to lengths greater than four meters and are capable of killing and consuming prey as large as a human. Squeezing its prey so tight it actually stops their blood from flowing, this rotund reptile is a deadly predator. But it does have a weakness. It's cold-blooded. I was uh, working in a reserve in the low felt in the Sabi Sands area. I heard over the radio that there was a honey badger attacking a python. I arrived at the sighting and I could see the honey badger running around in the grass. And then I eventually saw the snake. It was quite camouflaged in the long grass and the size of it was immense. This is a Southern African python and I would estimate that in total length it would be about 4.4 meters. So it's an adult, probably be about 10 years old and it would weigh between 30, maybe just a little over 40 kilograms. The honey badger weighs probably about 10 kilograms. Four times smaller and lighter than this colossal python, confrontation would appear suicidal. This honey badger harassing this enormous snake looked out of sorts, but its reputation precedes it, you know, they're fearless little creatures. And this honey badger kept harassing it and biting it. It was tiring it out, I could see that it was taking a lot of energy for the snake to defend itself. The honey badger was just too quick. Obviously snakes are reptiles and they're cold-blooded. So when they come out at night, they're not able to control their body temperature. The body temperature will go down. And that has a profound effect on the physiology of the muscles of the snake. So the snake won't be able to perform. It won't be able to move as fast. It won't have the same power. And it'll fatigue more quickly. At one stage, the snake's tail came up. And because it was so disorientated and probably in a hell of a lot of shock and pain, it struck at its own tail. And that's a very common behavior that we see with Southern African pythons. If they're stressed, immediately the tail gets coiled. Snakes don't have particularly good vision. Obviously just saw that tail move past in its line of sight, and it just bit. It tried to climb up a small tree, but it was so weak it couldn't get away. Eventually, after about 10 or 15 minutes of watching this, the honey badger started to bite the snake quite savagely. The honey badger was just disemboweling the poor creature, put it in the torso area and started pulling out intestines and things like that. It was quite a traumatic sight and it wasn't very pleasant to see, but it is exactly what happens in nature. Honey badgers are renowned for killing snakes. Snakes make an important part of their diet. And so that snake was probably just trying to escape through the entire event.